What's up, guys? Today I'm going to go over a topic or a question that I get a lot of is why should I use Microsoft 365 instead of G Suite or Gmail, right? Great question. A lot of people use Gmail and they get sucked down to that road simply because it's something that they're familiar with. Maybe they have a personal Gmail account and they've got when they started their business, they just figured, well, why not just use Gmail so I can have it all in one place? Uh, but I'm going to go over a few reasons here as to why this is a bad idea to just use Gmail and to use G Suite and why Microsoft 365 is actually better for your business than Google. So if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you after the intro. So first, it really just – this does depend a lot on what type of business that you have because different businesses, they require different things. Some of you might have security concerns. Some of you might have support concerns. Some of you might have applications concerns and some of you might have document storage concerns and all of these other things. So it, this does depend on the industry that you're in, the type of business that you run, and of course the types of applications that you're integrating with, right? So take all that into concern when we're going over these reasons. But first off, and the first reason I'm going to start is productivity applications are better in Microsoft. So Microsoft does have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook. Gmail does not have these desktop applications. That is a first reason and a much <laughs> probably the greatest reason that Microsoft has. These are the industry standards when you're talking about presentations, it's PowerPoint. When you're talking about uh, databases, it's Excel. When you're talking about documents, when you're writing something, it's Word. Uh, and no other company really has come out with anything like these. So it, Microsoft is the king when it comes to desktop applications. Now you might be saying, but Roy, these applications exist within G Suite and I have G Sheets and they're just as good. I would very much disagree there. Uh, Excel has a lot more functions that you can do to build out a much better and a more robust Excel sheet uh, or, or RDS database tables. There's a lot more that you can do in Excel and a lot more that you can build. Same with PowerPoint. I don't think Google really has anything that comes close to PowerPoint and what PowerPoint can do. And uh, and OneNote, while uh, G, G Suite does have a version of collaborative note taking environment, it's not as robust as OneNote. Uh, and then there is no product like Outlook out there for Google. You would have to use the web and you'd have to use Gmail. So Outlook, which is another extremely robust application, only available in the Microsoft 365 platform and included in the app, uh, the business premium. So that is something to note. What I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be comparing the G Suite business, which is $10 per user a month. And I'm going to be comparing Office 365 business premium, which is $12.50 a month. So $2.50 more actually than the, the Google, business pre, uh, Google business suite, but we're gonna go over the pluses and the minuses. And that first one is very much a check mark in the business premium uh, side of things when you're getting those desktop applications. The second point here in terms of the applications is publisher and access for PC. So you'll get access database manager, which is Microsoft 365, and you'll get a publisher tool. Uh, Google just simply doesn't have anything to compete with that. Although you can make the argument that access database is coming out uh, on the outs, uh, it is an extremely robust tool. So if you're using Access or anything like that in terms of building out databases for your business, huge check mark uh, for Microsoft 365. Next would be the browser-based productivity apps. Both of these applications, both of these suites have browser-based applications. For Google, you only have browser-based applications. For Microsoft, it's an option and it is very much built out and extremely robust. And you does integrate with things such as Microsoft Teams that comes with your business premium subscription. Next would be the Office apps for iOS and Android devices. A lot of people used to think, and maybe some of them still do, is that Microsoft doesn't have a good iOS uh, connectivity or the way that it integrates. And that couldn't be further from the truth. While maybe five years ago, iOS and Microsoft kind of had a little feud there for a little bit during the Microsoft phone days, that has since long passed. And iOS does support both G Suite and 
Microsoft 365. So give them both the check mark there. The automatic new feature updates. While a lot of people seem to think that this is a huge plus for the Google, Microsoft actually does this as well. And then you can even include in some packages updating your entire operating system for your computer. So if you're on Windows 10, you could get auto updated to Windows 11 when that time comes. So that is a huge, huge advantage for the Microsoft platform. Both applications update for Google and Microsoft. You'll both get your timely updates and your, your updates as they come. But Microsoft, since they do control your operating system, probably for your computer, unless you're using an iOS, then that is a check for the Microsoft. Now we're going to get into business applications. So we just went over productivity applications. But what about business applications? Because after all, you are a business, right? Well, Google does not have a CRM. They don't have an online scheduler. And they don't have automated workflows that you can build within the platform. If you're using Google and you're using G Suite, you have to go third party in order to do those. Then you're using applications like Calendly. You're using applications like Zoom, or maybe you're using an application like uh, Zoho or uh, something of those sorts. Uh, sorts. Microsoft actually has those all in-house. So you, you do have a customer relationship uh, manager, a CRM. You do have an online customer scheduler that's built in and free. It's called Bookings. And then you do have the availability to create workflows and automation in-house, which is called Microsoft Flow. Those three alone, I believe, is enough reason for you to choose Microsoft over G Suite. But we're, we have, we're only halfway through the list here in terms of areas and of, uh, of importance and why you should go with Microsoft 365 over G Suite. So we're going to get into collaboration services. Collaboration services is a business class email, calendar, contacts integration. They both have this availability, and they both are very good at it. Google actually has a great business class email and calendar and contacts management system. It actually integrates with Samsung products with your with your uh, with your phone, which is great. Uh, and Microsoft has this as well. So Microsoft does have a very good business class email. Uh, the exchange that they've had for multiple years is very, very good. And the calendar and contacts integrates great with the Alexa devices, even your Google. But if you're using Gmail on your phone, I would suggest downloading the Outlook app. It works a lot better in terms of integration. For Meet Online and screen sharing audio and HD video, they both offer this. Google Meets does exist. Uh, however, Google Meets uh, has run into some troubles recently and has made uh, a lot of organizations go third party. You'll see a lot of Google organizations pick up Zoom because of how much better Zoom is than the Google Meets. Uh, so it's not necessarily really a conversation of whether Teams and Microsoft or Google Meet uh, our competitors because it's more it's more teams versus zoom at this point uh teams is the uh is the industry leader as far as i'm concerned in terms of meeting spaces and digital collaboration so a huge check mark goes to microsoft uh, when you're choosing that device that will save you a ton of money on a zoom premium or something like that the next one would be a hub for teamwork for microsoft teams so if you are using microsoft teams free you can use google uh, you can sign up Microsoft Teams free with your Google account, but then your documents and your data is separate. So if you're going to be using Teams, you might as well use Microsoft products. The next two are task management and staff scheduling. Google does not have a product for either of those, for task management and shift management. So Microsoft does. There is an application that comes with Business Premium. It is called Microsoft Planner, which is free to your Microsoft versions, uh, users. Well, if you're paying the subscription, that is. So you do get something called Microsoft Planner, which is the essentially the same thing as like a Trello. So if you're using Google, uh, you would have to sign up for something like Trello or Asana or Monday or a third-party application, which costs you more money. Uh, that's actually included in your Microsoft subscription. The scheduling and shift management, there is something called shifts in Microsoft where you can manage your users shifts within Microsoft Teams. This does not exist within the Google universe and you'd have to go to a third party. Are you starting to see the trend here? Uh, next, we're going to get into document storage. This is probably on paper 
what seems to be the most even between the two. They both have Google, uh, a drive system. Google has Google Drives. SharePoint is the Microsoft version of that. They both have individual storage with one terabyte per user. Uh, Microsoft has OneDrive. Google has, again, Google Drive. They both have co-authoring and file syncing, which is both really very good uh, systems. So if you're only using it for document storage, Google actually does hold up. Now, when you get into security, that's where Microsoft takes the, takes the cake because there's an administrative panel in the Azure Active Directory that can really control who sees what, uh, where Google falls a little short. But again, if you're simply using it for document storage and just using it as a drive, Google actually does match up relatively well with SharePoint. Next, we have support. Support, there is 24 by seven support included in both the Google and the Microsoft platforms. And both of them have a 99.9 .9, uh, backbone uptime guarantee, which is good. You, if you're paying for the cloud, you want those things to be there. So they actually both have the same uptime guarantee. Uh, but for the deployment and 50 seats of fast track, uh, which means is the integration support that's included, uh, that integration, that 50 seat fast track is actually only included in Microsoft. Now you could say, well, Roy, Microsoft made that up. Well, sure, but let's say that there is something that uh, for developmental support in terms of integration for a large organization of 50 people, that's not even, nothing is available for Google. You'd have to do it yourself. So Microsoft does include that fast track program that builds in. That's something that they offer to their employees. But let's take support completely away. Let's say you support, uh, my, Google has their own types of thing that they can use for that. You're still talking about multiple applications that we just went through in terms of collaboration, business, and productivity. You're talking about with Google, you're gonna have to go to a third party integration, uh, like a Zapier to write your workflows. That's gonna cost you money. For your, for your applications that you're collaborating with in your, in your meetings, you're going to have to go to a third party like a Zoom or a Web, WebEx. That's going to cost you money. Then you're going to have to go to a, some sort of a scheduling program out external or on a Microsoft plan or a uh, planner uh, like Microsoft Planner. You're going to have to do something like a Trello, uh, which Trello is actually free, but it is just one more third party application that you're using and have to integrate. So, $2.50 is the difference here. You be the judge of everything that I just outlined of what is the more important to you. I will say that Google does have a slightly better UX UI, but I would argue the only reason why it's a better UX UI is because we are more familiar with the Gmail on a personal level. Personal people tend these days tend to set up a Gmail more so than a Hotmail. So that usability and your initial UX user experience is better at Google simply because of that reason. I would argue that if you're going to set up a business and you care about your security and you care about the production of your business, the only real choice is Microsoft 365. So guys, hopefully this made sense to you. Hopefully you got a lot of information out of this. Uh, this is my first time doing a video here in my new setup. So the camera's in a different place. So I feel like I'm like looking in all kinds of different ways. Uh, but let me know what you thought. If you guys have any questions, if you disagree, hit me in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you know whenever our new videos come out. And thanks for watching. And until next time, guys.